I suddenly thought, samba, hmm. Because I know when you when you hear a samba band in the street, you know, you can't help but going to do it. And, I, and that's a, a, a big issue for people with Parkinson's. They sort of lose that sense of rhythm. They lose the rhythm of walking. Some people have this freezing of gait thing where they just suddenly can't go anywhere, especially if you're in a doorway or something. And I just thought that the samba rhythms would help them. And um, I put it out on to my Twitter network, which isn't huge, but it is international. And they all said, yes, that sounds a good, a really good idea. Give it a go. Before Samba, I was um, struggling to get out of the chair. So at, at least I am a bit more mobile now. Not quite so stiff, which is part and parcel of Parkinson's, the, the stiffness in the joints. I tend to st still be leaning over to one side, so I'm going to try and prop myself up. <laughs> um, but I think without Samba, I, th I think I would be struggling. We do look at things um, called biomarkers, which are uh, biological changes that occur as part of the disease. And um, they're often a really good marker of how the disease is progressing. However, we don't have really good biomarkers for Parkinson's yet. And so all clinical trials are based on a rating of clinical symptoms. And that will include, as I said, quality of life, motor and cognitive symptoms. If we can do that, and um, people with Parkinson's know that this is actually better for them, good for them in lots of different ways, including actually addressing some of their symptoms, then there's nothing to stop them getting on and doing it themselves. You know, you wait ages for somebody to come along and wave a magic wand, but if there's something you can do yourself, then that's really, like, to me, that's really important.